Hey everybody, it's me, playing as the Defect. Probably destined to lose again, reading a lot of advice. One piece of advice I got, just take everything that has channel lightning in its description. That sounds interesting, that sounds cool. Hey, three, two, one. Our transformers become Glacier, I don't think that has channel lightning. Gain nine block, channel two frost, so it's really almost like nine block, plus four, it was 13 block, plus four block per turn, plus whatever evocation we get from that, but, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I, I have no idea how this character works, I think it's pretty clear at this point, uh, we're pretty much flying blind, trying, don't get me wrong, like, trying a lot, just not succeeding at all. We, I don't know, I mean, this is... What else are we going to play, though? It's nice block, don't get me wrong. I just don't know if it's it's exactly what we need right now. Still, it actually went a lot better than expected based on the first turn. I don't think any of these are that good, but Sweeping Beam seems tempting. I'm going to take a Beam Cell for now, even though we very rarely do attacks. No shop early. I will not take your curse, my friend. I'll do a lot of question marks. Remove, transform, upgrade. What's the upgrade for Glacier? 12 block. I think we remove... Uh, maybe a defend at this point. My thinking is just roll the thinnest deck possible. Take the best cards possible. And I can already hear people in the background being like, Oh my god, he's finally understanding. <laughs> he's finally figuring out how to play the game. Eh, anyway. Maybe. Oh, dude. I love it. I forgot we had an evocation there, but either way, he's extremely dead. And uh, I'm not feeling too bad about this. Aggregate is unnecessary. Tempest. Absolutely. I think Leap is also great. It's just a better block. It's literally a better block. Um, give me a zap. Here's the my deal right now is that it really doesn't feel to me like we need Frost. I'd like to kill this guy quickly. It, these are like almost exactly the same. All I need to do is block this turn. Well, actually, even a dual cast wheel, 16, nah. Block this turn. You're gonna be down to 19, 18. Now I need to do nine damage to you and you're dead beyond belief. Yeah, you are you are now deceased. All right, thin deck, sort of working. Deal damage equal to twice the frost channel this combat to all enemies. What? <laughs> Deal damage equal to twice the frost channel this combat to all enemies. I understand. I don't know if I like it, but I understand. In a thin deck, I'm thinking a streamline may work here. What's my methodology? Beam cell, zap, streamline, and just hope you draw a streamline on the turn after this one that's coming up right now. Uh, I'm going to put up a quick Glacier. I'm destined to take some damage. So I'm going to throw in a quick 8 damage from the Lightning. No Streamline. Tell you what. I'm going to hit you with a quick Glacier. I'm gonna strike you. When Streamline comes back around, you're gonna be in trouble, mister. Streamline just becomes cheaper. It doesn't do more damage. I was kind of mistaken. Undo. No? No? I don't think we need another Beam Cell. I'm happy with our 12-card deck. I love my 12-card deck. What about Streamline? Deal more damage? Love to see it. Tempest? Love to see it. Let's go with Streamline for now, because it is kind of like our best damage dealer. We want to be able to play that and have blocks as well. I'm gonna try. It's like the Canucks in the draft lottery. Okay. Bag of prep is awesome. I'm gonna rest. And then I'm gonna fight this elite. Lagavulin. I have a plan. 
He's probably gonna wake up, huh? Right. He has not woken up. He's gonna wake up. You should hit him, because he's gonna wake up anyway. Now we have guaranteed block. And this is what I want. I want streamlines. I know we're gonna take some damage. We got it. We're putting up a little defense. And then we've got streamline coming back around. That's my game plan right now. So we're gonna block as often as is plausible. Wait for. Oh, use your vulnerability, you fool. I don't think he's dead. He had one more turn there as well. I don't think he's dead next turn. He's close. He's close. You can zap and get five block. You're only taking three. You need a streamline here. We got it. Hey, have you ever considered uh, using Beam Cell to make him vulnerable and thus making your life way easier? All attacks are going to come pre-upgraded. This is good. Um, what's the upgrade? Six damage and you can draw more easily. Stack. Unlikely to be useful in a deck this thin right now, but who knows? Like later that could be worth a lot, right? Um, so all attacks are going to be upgraded by default. Tempest being better. Glacier is not really that good. Zap being free is pretty good. Let's go for Tempest for now. That's basically getting 8 damage added to this card. Or 3 damage per turn. I will take Bronze Scales. Because I love my thin deck. I will spin the wheel. Please, Lord. No curses is all I ask. Remove a card. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will remove a strike from the deck. Rest before the boss fight. And I don't know. It's definitely the, the most highly curated deck we've ever rolled. I have no desire to... Uh, to perfect this boss. I just want to survive. So. We will defend. We have to play Streamline as far as I'm concerned. I just wish Streamline did more damage. I'm not going to strike you. I'm gonna strike him. <laughs> I think we're shaping up pretty nicely here. Okay, FTL's back. I love it. Beam cell, thank you so much. Um, give you a quick little zap. And there you go. Not quite enough to get you to transform. It's definitely like a blast from... Oh, well, it's not a blast from the past. It's just different than the last run. You know, on the last run, we... Uh, we had so many orbs that it really felt like as long as we were able to block, we'd survive. Alas, that didn't happen. Now I'm going to pivot a little bit. I'm going to put a glacier up so we have some blocks. I'm going to start smacking you a little. Hit you with one of these, maybe. Could have done that earlier, potentially, and uh, might not have been a bad call. My dude is definitely dead, though. I don't know, this this feels more sustainable. Our last run was like unhinged. <laughs> it's not bad, but it it became bad when we had one bad draw. Evoke your next orb, channel the orb that was just evoked. I mean this is like in most situations this is gonna be like eight damage. It's not that good. This is damage every turn when evoked. I Sure, I'm gonna try Rainbow out, and I think we definitely want Sozu. And we'll try to roll these potions as long as possible. Having four energy is gonna be nice. We still only have a 13 card deck. Let's try to make it to Rest Elite, or if we're looking good, Elite Rest, I guess. You're not attacking, so we'll start FTL. Streamline, you really wanna play at turn one. It's not that bad. Um, 10 damage, huh? We'll hit you with one of these. Uh, I'm gonna play two of these. 
I'm gonna evoke this. I'm gonna throw another Tempest on top just to just to get some more damage done. And dude, the dark damage was actually really nice. I can't believe we're not gonna like take damage there. We drew four dazes and still made it happen. I do think white noise is probably worth playing. The power synergies could be worth it. I hope at least. Um, I'll play this for zero. This guy's going to be a pain in the butt. But if we can just get this evoked, we might be okay. If we evoke four, or channel four, block, 12 damage, eight damage, eight damage. It's 28 damage. I'm gonna do it like this. Defend, and then evoke. Channel, I should say. Ah, I had my math wrong anyway. So I'm glad that it went like this, because we're dealing 12, he's going to take 3 from hitting us, he's not going to, we're not going to take any damage, I should say. Um, hit you with an FTL, hoping for, well, yeah, anything, really. And then, we just need you to take 1 damage. Dude, are we okay here? This run looks like it might sort of work. But it's way too early to specifically tell. Um, I'd prefer to not roll Glacier. Like, I think we're better off just being, like... Honestly, we could dual cast. And then, what would you do? Literally, strike Tempest. We do take 8 damage, which... In hindsight, what was I thinking? Um, okay, FTL. We have 4 energy. I think you, you borderline have to play White Noise. This does deal... 24 damage and channel though, so let's start there. Start of your turn, use the passive ability of your orb. Alright. I hate slowing down Streamline's existence, but I think that rainbow play will be better for us long term. And we are going to block, we're only going to block 8 actually, now that I think about it, but we're not taking much damage here. Like, life will go on, especially if he's not doing anything right now. Please die. Just a strike. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, we're going to zap. What's the point of the zap well then we can do this for like 48 damage he is gonna heal himself but only for like 18 16 and he gets hit immediately after hit you we got you okay 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 a second tempest i really feel like why not i feel like that burst damage is highly relevant i will lose happy flower for a new relic i don't know if it's gonna be worth it but i'm definitely not losing molten egg we have to ftl and then beam cell. I do think we have to streamline. And then a tempest. Well, that was extremely great. <laughs> that was highly, highly positive. So uh, I'm going to defend. I'm going to defend. And I'm going to play the other tempest immediately. 16 damage and then 12 after the fact. I got no complaints yet. Fragment. These are going to do more damage now, but... I think you do try this. You are going to hit me. Oh, no, malware bites, go away. You are going to hit me, and I, I hate that a great deal. But you're only hitting me for 12. It's not good. Not necessarily bad, though. So you're in potion range, as much as I would like to not have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for dual cast there. I never thought I'd say it. Shuffle all of your cards into your draw pile. Then draw five. Draw five. 
It seems like that's almost never going to be bad. I mean, I know it gets exhausted, but... Hold up. What happens if you upgrade it? Seven. Oh, my God. Okay. A little dangerous. This is a weird one. Yes, I know I just used all three potions. I'm afraid, okay? What about a glacier? Followed by a tempest. We go up to 19 block, we're gonna deal nine damage after the fact. We're only taking 10. Strikes me as not being altogether that horrible. First card you play each turn is played twice. Seems amazing. Or at least quite good. I'm really glad we played all three potions. Something you're not going to hear me say very often. What is happening? Glacier maybe helps to keep us alive. Not just alive, but in good health, because there's a, a lot of game left. Yeah, I, I don't feel bad about this one. I feel like it was close to being necessary. Actually, Rainbow is amazing here because of the block we get. And then the actually the evokes are pretty much going to do our job for us. Ooh, Centennial Puzzle. I'm not sure it's any good. None of these I deem necessary. You know I'm a sucker. I'm taking Mind Blast. <laughs> it becomes innate by default because of Molten Egg. Um... Yeah, so you hit him with a beam cell, and then a mind blast. There you go, that's the good stuff. I guess if we're gonna do that, we should always do like... Tempest, followed by Tempest plus one, but... You're in a real bad spot. That's what I like to see. I have no idea what this run means for us right now. I do know. I don't mind adding cards now. Double your energy exhaust. I like it because of Tempest. That could be like our skewer here. Give me an auto shields. As long as we play auto shields first, this should be pretty easy to enable, right? Choose one of 20 cards to add to your deck or heal. I'm going to heal this way when I come here. I can smith instead and upgrade a card we already like. Rainbow not being exhausted? I don't even know if it's that good yet, but sure. If it's two energy, even in its plus form, you know, something's got to be right here. Go for him. First card you play each turn is done twice. Love it. All right. Well, wouldn't mind some blocks, right? Amazingly, we're taking no damage. Now, the first card we play each turn is played twice. It's 14 free damage or 12 free damage with 2 draw. Or 40 damage. 40 damage. Absolutely. Please. Ooh, I'm just worried about our ability to kill you on this turn, but I'm, I'm, I'm real hopeful. Okay, check this out. What about a doubled energy? So we go to 16 energy, hit you with the beam cell, and then uh, channel 17 lightning? S 
six, seven, eight, nine, you're dead. Okay, so that's like kind of the burst damage turn we were hoping for. Storm, whenever you play a power, channel a lightning. Ah, it's just not, we're not playing that many powers. Yet. We still only have a 19 card deck, I think we're doing good work. Make our other, well, white noise, yeah, make white noise free, sure. It's a free power. Very afraid, but definitely want Beam Cell, then FTL. Hit him with a Mind Blast, Dad. We have terrible AoE, so... Yeah, like, I really just don't know where this is going. I think we almost sit on double energy. Well, we're taking no damage this turn, but it's a weird one. I think we sit on double energy to try to get, like, an incredible Tempest turn out of it. It's the only way I really see it popping. Um, the start of your turn... Use the passive ability of your next orb. So this is going to become insanely powerful, I think. Knock you out. We're taking some damage. We definitely don't want to evoke if possible. Yeah, we're taking just a little bit of damage, but enough to be annoyed. Um, double energy, but no Tempest. So, take you out. This still don't want to evoke this yet. This is gonna get crazy strong. I, I'm hoping we're not slow playing it too much, but this thing again, it's gaining 12 energy, 12 damage per turn. So it's like, all right. I mean, this turn is dead, but it's another 12 damage done to him eventually. We have to live long enough to use it though. It's a great mind blast. Don't really want to let him hit me for 36. But I'm gonna. This might be very, very stupid. But okay, now he takes a turn off. This is kind of what we're looking for. Hit him, hit him. He's taking 60 from this. I still say we, we sit on it. Now we need to make sure these enemies are gone before we use it. That's very important. Um, yeah. Well, we should have played Mind Blast first, but... Just be cool. I think there's a somewhat realistic chance we could live on this run. This is actually what we need. Um, I think you would auto shields. You would definitely double energy before you auto shields unless you are a fool, which is what I am. We just did 64 damage to an enemy with 1 HP. That's where I'm at in my life right now. I took so much more damage than I needed to take so I could overkill a guy by like 70 HP. Ask me how smart I feel right now. No, oh, NL, that won't strictly be necessary. Ask me! <laughs> oh, they even hit the wrong enemy. Please, God. We're dead. I've reached a new level of pain, a new depth of agony I didn't know could exist. Uh, I am a, I am a fool. That's maybe the worst play I've ever made in Slay the Spire history. Dude, this guy is confusing as hell. I'm not complaining, I'm just, my brain is complaining as it stretches to try to learn how to deal with this guy. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. In spite of my idiocy, maybe because of my idiocy. If you did click the like button, I'll see a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ah!